Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our legs. I am going to start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on the each side and then a deep squat to start off the pre-workout. Now make sure you add some kind of dynamic stretching for your everyday workouts to ensure the right mobility for, of your body before you start lifting weights. This is addition to the warm-ups which you are going to do before lifting the, or doing the actual exercises. Now this video is going to be short because I prefer to do a select few exercises for my legs which I feel work the best. You might have a different choice. You, you are free to choose from different exercises when it comes to legs but keeping it in a uh, limited format like three to four exercises more than sufficient. You just need to build strength over those exercises with sufficient amount of intensity and volume so yes but yeah these are few which i always prefer to do so currently i'm trying to improve my strength in terms of deep squat so i have great amount of strength build up in my hips my glutes overall the entire lower body and squats are the best way i know to build strength now i started off with two warm-up sets 15 repetitions slow control repetitions with deep pauses wherein once I sit in the deep squat I pause for a couple of seconds and then come back up since there is no weight it's pretty easy to do so once you start adding weight is where it becomes a little bit challenging the pauses might become slow you know shorter so that's absolutely fine and also I prefer I started wearing uh, the weightlifting shoes shoes with have which have heels to give me a little bit more depth and drive my knees a little bit more forward than my toes so you know overall improving my muscle strength and my form bit by bit now i'm going to stick to this if you're someone who doesn't prefer to do squats there are other things you can do which are single leg reverse lunges bulgarian squats as long as you are taking your leg to the entire range of flexion and extension you should be fine now for squats i have done four sets eight to ten repetitions with full range of motion basically sitting in a deep squat if you are unable to sit in a deep squat the squat parallel to floor is also absolutely fine and if you are unable to sit in a deep squat because of the narrow stance try a little bit wider stance with open toes which I have mentioned even last time you might able to get a little bit more depth but again parallel to floor level is absolutely fine to do squats I am trying to build my deeper squat strength so I am preferring this a lot more Post completing those, I moved on to leg extensions. Now I have done three sets of these with a mix of cluster and drop sets. Now cluster sets are these sets which we have done previously, which is basically 15 repetitions in one go and then adding 5-5 five, five repetitions, basically the pause rep technique and accumulating over 35 to 40 repetitions in one set itself. Drop sets, you know, you drop the weight once you start hitting fatigue, right around 20 to 25 mark and try to get as many repetitions as possible in every drop we tend to drop at least twice thrice is very ideal so yes right way to burn off your legs or your quads completely today's day is a little bit quad dominant that said i did not feel that much as i finished off with rdls which i'll be showing you shortly but yes my quads were on fire i'm seeing a great amount of development and also the increase in size a lot more stability in my squats so yes on the right path i guess now post completing the leg extensions as i mentioned we are going to start with rdls now in rdls today i don't know if you like this angle but yeah this is the angle which i prefer so that i can show you a lot more about my stance as you already know we want to keep our lower back tight and absolutely braced while performing rdls so there is no tension build up there we want to push our glutes behind as we hinge forward and then squeeze our glutes together as we start get rising back up and that's what is going to drive the rod back up now as you can see as i go down how my calves and my hamstrings are getting absolutely stretched and from there as i squeeze back up they contract completely so this is what is working this is what is doing the job in terms of developing our hamstring strength and also stretching the calves completely out because of the angle of the RDL. You can see that slight shiver in my hamstring muscles 
That's because they are really struggling. Four sets, 10 repetitions in a controlled manner with small pauses in between will really kill your hamstrings. And that's it. We are done. A very simple short leg workout. Wouldn't be short, but yes, in terms of exercise selection, it's completely short. You're going to finish off with static stretching, the old one, the regular one, which we keep doing. And as you can see, I ended up with a good amount of leg pump. My quads were completely full of blood. And yes, seems like the squats, leg extensions did their job. But yes, it's important that you finish off with a good amount of static stretching, 20 seconds each side, couple of times, even three times. If you want, you can also do a little bit of foam rolling to release a little bit more of the tension or tightness to avoid long on uh, delayed long time of soreness and you can do that or even the next day preferably it's absolutely your choice in terms of the time available to you post completing the quad stretches i moved on to hamstring stretches now the reason why i have done this more than two times is because today has been a little bit quad dominant so i wanted to stretch them out a lot more to make sure that my recovery time is slightly shorter. I don't know if really it does happen, but that's what at least I want to think. Maybe the placebo effect will work. Yes, we are going to finish off with a regular hamstring stretch. Place your uh, ankle at a height. Get your leg straight and hold there for 15 to 20 seconds. That's it. We are done with our exercising of legs. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated. Thank you once again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.